We have more on our exclusive interview with hu Hungary's Foreign Minister. Now, Peter Seattle spoke to Jill Newbronner about the importance of dialogue to resolve regional conflict. Why the EU division or divisions within the EU over China can be tricky and why his country is not affected, especially when it comes to trade. Hungary is building very strong ties in Southeast Asian nations. It's spending billions of dollars in the food industry, uh, water sector, trade, scholarships, but so are other European countries. Why should Asia partner with Hungary versus the likes of France, the UK, Germany? Look, we um, are small enough mm -hmm. to be forced to be always honest. We always do what we mean uh, and we always uh, say what we mean. And um, this is a great advantage when it comes to dealing with uh, Asian countries. We understand that the respect as such is still important here. Mm -hmm. And we always base our foreign political strategy, foreign policy strategy on mutual respect. Mm -hmm. And the countries here in this region, uh, if I understand correctly, are, are really fond of, um, of dialogue. The, the necessity of talking to each other instead of discriminating each other, instead of sanctioning each other. Let's talk to consensus. each other. Yeah, yeah, consensus. So, so maybe these are the, the most important aspects which, uh, which make us uh, similar, unlike others. I, I see what you're saying. You let the countries run their country, let the government yeah. do what they're there yeah. for. But you can't always take that one step away approach. Look, for example, at your relationship with China it's just becoming more and more intertwined economically, right? You have growing trade investments with China under your Prime Minister, Viktor Orban. Last month alone, China offered to deepen security cooperation in Hungary. It's in multiple areas. We've got terrorism, combating transnational crime, security, law enforcement capacity building. At the same time, you have to admit that your relations with the EU, NATO, frosty. Yeah, so I, my question to you is, Unpack, how do you bring ties with China forward uh, while yet maintaining the policy of the EU, which seems to be de-risking, not decoupling, yeah. de-risking from China? Now, when it comes to China, you know, it's a tricky uh, issue. And I tell you why. Because those countries who are supposed to be the most critical towards China, they have the same appetite to make the big business uh, with, with China. So you look at France, you look at Germany, you know, the way they speak about China is not friendly. Mm. But the way their companies are doing business with China, it's about multiple billions of dollars. You know, look, our trade with China is definitely growing, yep. but it represents 1.2% of EU-China trade. 1.2%, you know. And, and, and I have to tell you, we are very happy with the economic cooperation of ours with China. Why? Because the investments of the big Chinese companies, especially in the field of electric automotive yes. industry, they have helped a lot in maintaining the, uh, the level of economic growth in the country.